The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, second chapter, text number 19, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 27th of September 1974, in Calcutta, India. <laughs> At the time, loving devotional service is established in the heart, the modes of passion, rajas, and ignorance, tamas, and lust and desire, kama, disappear from the heart. Then the devotee is established in goodness, and he becomes happy. Chita etai dhanavidham Chitam satte prasidati So, the principle is that we have to place our mind or consciousness in this satakum. That is the first business. Because the material world means satagun, rajagun, tamo. Satagun is the qualification of pure Brahma. Sama tamo tutikha arjava jnanam vijnanam astikam brahma karma sabhav. Satagun. These are the symptoms of satagun. Without coming to the platform of Satugun or Brahminical qualification, one cannot make any advance in spiritual life. Therefore, in our Krishna consciousness movement, we first of all bring anyone to the platform of Brahman. Therefore, at the time of second initiation, we offer the sacred thread to recognize him that he is now Brahman. Without becoming a Brahmana, nobody can become a Vaishnava. Or when one is Vaishnava, it is to be understood that he is also Brahman. The common word in India it is said, Brahmana Vaishnava. Brahmana should become Vaishnava. Or one who is Vaishnava is already a Brahmana. Brahma Janati is the Brahmana. So a Vaishnava not only knows Brahma, but he knows Paramatma and he knows Bhagavan. Brahma janati iti Brahma. Simply by knowing Brahma, one can become a Brahma. But a Vaishnava, not only he knows what is Brahma, but he knows further what is Paramatma and what is Bhagavan. Brahma iti, Paramatma iti, Bhagavan iti sabi. The absolute truth is present in three features. Brahma, Paramatma, and Bhagavan. The Brahma realization is the first. Aham Brahmasma, that is the self-realization. I am not this body. Aham Brahmasma, that is called Brahma Bhuta stage. Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma, that is the statement in the Bhagavad Gita. Here is also it is stated that Sthitam Shatte Prasidhiti. Everyone is hankering after how to be peaceful in mind. Everyone says, Samiji, 
kindly say how I can get peace of mind. The peace of mind, how it can be attained, is stated here. Sthitaṁ satya prasīdati. If you fix up in satugon, not in the rajagon tamagon. Tamagon is the life of the kormis. Tamagon and rajagon also. Rajagon is actually kormis. And satugon is the life of gyanis. And after coming to the satugon, being peaceful in mind, Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma. You have to come to the platform of Satogon. Then you will be Prasannatma. Prasanna means happy mood of life. Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma. What is the happy mood of life? Na suchati, na kankati. He does not love it. He does not hanker. Here in the material world, we are hankering. We want this dhanam dehi, rupam dehi, jasu dehi, dhubhuti, bhajjang dehi, dehi dehi. That is hankering. This is not the stage of Brahma Bhutta. Brahma Bhutta stage means no suchati, no kankati. He does not hanker. Neither he laments. Then sama sarveshu bhuteshu mad bhakti lavati param. Then bhakti begins when actually you are in peace of mind. A disturbed mind cannot execute devotional sign. Therefore, in the beginning, uh, if somebody all of a sudden becomes a Vaishnava and in a solitary place and chanting, there he is cheating. How can he? How can chant? You cannot, because your mind is not fixed up. Your mind is not no sujati, no kankati. Unless you are purified, your mind is always disturbed. That is the material condition. The mind must be disturbed. Sada samudvigna dhiyam, Prahlad Maharaj said. That is the material symptom. What is the material symptom? All is full of anxiety. Tata samadhi begina dhiyam. Why? Asad grahat. Because he has accepted the temporary position. Asad. Asad means which will not exist. Here everything will not exist. This body, it will not exist. But I have taken this body as everything. I am Indian, I am American, I am the father of this family, I am the manager of the so big business, and so on, so on, so on, so on. Asadgra. But everything concentrated on this body. So he must be angry, full of anxiety. Asadgraha. He accepted this body. It's fair, but it is not fair. Similarly, the whole world, hasadgraha, samadhi begina dhiyam. This is a very nice question. Hiranyakashipu asked his son, Prahlad Maharaj, my dear boy, what you have learned the best thing? You are a student. He said, the sadhu manne asura varcha. He addressed his father. He addressed him as asura varcha, the best of the asura. He did not address him as father, but he said, My dear, the best of the Asuras, Tanmane Sadhu Asura Vajra, Sadas Hamudvigna Dhyama Sadgraha, Hityatma Ghatam Griyanda Kupam, Banangatu Jadhrima Asraya. That is the best thing. One is rotting in this family life, which is just like a blind well, andhaku, atma ghatam, just like a man falls in the blind well. He has no other alternative than to die crying, crying. That's all. So he advises, hitva, 
जस्ट गिव इट आप हित्या आत्मघातम अंधकूपम गृह अंधकूपम देन वेट से लाइक गो बनंगतो 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 गोट विल नाम और इन द फॉरेस्ट देन हाउ से लाइक दे न हरी मास रहे तो जस्ट टेक सेल्टर ऑफ कृष्णा हरी ही गिव यू प्रोटेक्शन दिस इज दे इन इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ प्रहलाद महाराज सो ये भागवत से तदा तदा मीन्स at that time at that time when it is in the previous verse it has been explained uh, that on nastra prayasu avadreshu nittam bhagavata sevaya bhagavati uttama shloke bhakti bhavati nishthi at that time when you are fixed up in devotional service at that time tada Not otherwise. If you have no connection with devotional service, if you are attached to karma, gain, job, you cannot be fixed up. Therefore, Chaitanya Chaitamrita says, "Bhukti mukti siddhi kame shapoli asant." Here we require la sitang satte prasidati. Prasidati means peace of mind. Fully satisfied, but bhukti mukti siddhi kam at a time they cannot have peace of mind. It is not possible. Bhukti means karmis that trying to enjoy this material, more money, more all that, more eating, more, more and that is called bhukti. They are not satisfied by enjoying on this planet. They perform various kind of jagdhans so that they may be promoted to the higher planetary system, sarvaloka or janaloka, mahaloka like that. But Krishna says, "Abrahma bhuvana aloka." You rascal! You are trying to be promoted to the higher planetary system for more and more material enjoyment. Certainly, there is thousands and thousand times. More material comforts in the heavenly planets, in the Chandraloka. In the Chandraloka, they are trying to go into Chandraloka. But according to Shastra, if one goes to Chandraloka, he gets ten thousands of years his duration of life and enjoy. So certainly there are. Many times more comfortable life, standard of life, very very high in the heavenly other planetary system. But Krishna says that any one of the planet you can go, but the material disease will not be relieved. The material disease, Janma Mitra Jara Bhayad, we cannot understand. This is our real disease. Repetition of birth, janma, a repetition of death, janma mitu jara vadi, a repetition of becoming old and bad, a repetition of being affected by various types of disease. So therefore, intelligent man should see that even if I go to the Brahma Loka, uh, when Brahma was asked by Hiranya Kashyapu. Give me immortality, sir. He said, "I am myself not immortal. How can I give you immortal?" So Abhuram Bhuvana Luka and Purula Bhakti Nandan. Krishna advised Arjun, my dear Arjun, if you go to the Brahma Loka, many millions of years duration of life, uh, still you have to die. So that is the. Standard of highest perfection. If you do not die, if you do not take birth, if you know what are the miserable condition of birth to remain within the womb of the mother, not only to remain. Nowadays, modern advanced civilization, they are being killed by the mother. Not only abortion, but they are being killed. Now the Western world 
He is very familiar with these things. So just imagine. First of all, you have to remain within the mother womb, uh, head down, packed up condition. You cannot move ten months, and that is also not secure. Within the mother's womb, you are not secure. At any moment, the doctor may advise that kill the child. So these are the miserable condition of birth, but we do not remember them. We have to know it from the Shastra. So similarly, at the time of death, ah, coma, nowadays, it is a very common disease, for seven days, fifteen days, he is unconscious, crying. So this is the miserable condition of death. This is the miserable condition of birth. And between birth and death, there are so many miserable conditions. Uh, this old age, uh, this disease, uh, so many calamities, catastrophes, then still we do not want to make a solution of this problem. And the solution is very simple. In the Bhagavad Gita it is said, Jarma karma medhibbam jujana titam. If you simply know Krishna, what is Krishna? Why does he come? Why he works like ordinary man? Janma karma medhi. Jo jana atitap. In truth, in actual fact, not that uh, Krishna was born in Mathura and then he was taken to Vrindavan. This is also knowing, but still you know what is Krishna. Manushanam sahasre sukhasthi jatati siddhaya. Jatatama Vishidhyana Kaschit Bhetti Maam Tattva. It is very difficult to understand Krishna. Tattva, not superficial, but in fact. So, Krishna says, Janma Karma Me Dibbam Jo Janati Tattva. So, one who understands Krishna in truth, he becomes free. Tattva Deham Punar Janma Naiti Maameti. These things are there. So why don't you be serious to study Krishna, to understand Krishna? But to understand Krishna, it will require Krishna's mercy. Without Krishna's mercy. So how you get Krishna's mercy? Tesam satat yuktanam bhajatam apriti purvakam buddhi yogam dadami jinamam upayat. One can understand Krishna by being constantly engaged in his service. Tesam satata yuktana. Not that weekly once go to the church. No. Twenty-four hours satata yuktana engaged in Krishna's service. That is Krishna consciousness movement. We are teaching people how to become twenty-four hours engaged in Krishna. This is our business. We don't allow karma, gyan, yoga, no. Simply. And that is Krishna Bhakti. Jnana karma is anabrita. There is no question of jnana and karma. That is not pure bhakti. Pure bhakti means annamila asita sunna. Jnana karma is anabrita. Anukullena krishna nusilana. Simply to serve Krishna favorably. As Krishna becomes pleased. This is bhakti. This is pure. So this Krishna consciousness movement therefore teaching pure devotional service to Krishna. That is all, all problem. So how one can come to that state? That is being explained in this portion of the Bhagavad. Yes, Sinnatana Sapata Krishna Punna Savanatana. Just here. You haven't got to do anything more. Just hear about Krishna. Sinnatana Sapata. Then everything will be clear. Gradually. This is our purpose. The center is giving chance that you come here and hear about. We we don't make any flattery to satisfy the wings of the audience. 
वी स्पीक फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवतम वी स्पीक फ्रॉम भगवद गीता एंड प्रेजेंट दैम एज इट इज विदाउट एनी एडल्टरेशन दिस इज आर इफ यू लाइक देन यू मेक प्रोग्रेस इफ यू डोंट लाइक दैट इज योर ऑप्शन बट वी कैन नॉट मेक एनी कॉम्प्रोमाइज वी मस्ट प्रेजेंट दिस शास्त्र एज इट इज एंड वेर इज द डिफिकल्ट एवरीथिंग इज एक्सप्लेन हि नित्यम भागवत से यू हैव टू अटेंड भागवत क्लास एंड सर द भागवत पार्सन नित्यम डेल इफ यू कैनॉट दैट इज डिफरेंट थिंग बट दिस इज द प्रोसेस नित्यम भागवत से नष्ट प्रायशु अभद्रेश दिस कंक्लूजन कम्स वेन वन इज पार्शियली एडवांस नष्ट प्रायशु Not fully. Then it will come. He will be ready to serve Bhagavatam. Ah, Bhagavat, the person Bhagavat and the book Bhagavat. Nitang Bhagavat is here. Bhagavati uttam sloke. Ah, bhakti bhavati nishthiti. Nishtha I've explained already yesterday. Toda at that time. When you are fixed up, now I shall devote my life in Krishna consciousness. When you come to this conclusion, nittam, that will come. Nittam Bhagavata Sivaya. Bhakti Bhavati Naishthiti. Not deviation. Bad. Not this worship, that worship, this worship, this worship. Kamastasta Hitam Gyana Jajanti Anna Devoti. Those who are worshipping other demigods, that is recommended in the for the less intelligent class. Tad bhavati or pumeyadha sam. These things are recommended for the persons who are less intelligent, whose brain is packed up with cow dung. Not intelligent person. The intelligent person, sarva dharman paritajya mame kam sarva. That is intelligent. So, when one comes to this conclusion, bhakti bhavati nashti, ah, bhakti where? Not that bhakti to this god, that god, not bhagavati, and to the supreme personality of God, bhakti bhavati nashti, nashti, without any disturbance. Tada, at that time, tada, what is the result? Rajastama bhava. There are three bhavas: Rajaguna bhava, Stamaguna bhava, and Shatuguna bhava. So, as soon as you come to the platform of devotion and service, the two inferior qualities, namely Rajaguna and Tamaguna, they become finished. Simply, Shatuguna remains because there are three gunas. If two gunas are finished, no more. Useful, then the other one is there. Tada rajastama bhava. What are the symptoms of rajastama bhava? Ne kama and no. Those who are infected with this rajastama bhava, they are very lusty, greedy, lovey. They are not satisfied. The modern civilization. Is based on rajastama bhava. Nobody is satisfied. Everyone is greedy and lust. Kama lobha dayastu. Kama. So long you are lusty, so long you are greedy. There is no question of devotion and service. There is no question of advancement in spiritual life. So therefore, we have come to the platform of satogo, where. Simply knowledge. There is no other thing: ignorance or greediness. Only knowledge. So at that time it is said, "Chita eti anavidham," because everything is within the heart. We become greedy. We become lusty on account of distortion of the heart disease. Come. तदा हृदरोग काम अपहिनती दैट इज ए हार्ट डिजीज दिस काम एंड लोह इज ए हार्ट डिजीज एक्चुअली डोंट रिक्वायर्ड 
But it is a kind of disease, more and more and more and more and more, and never satisfied. So we have to cure this disease. And this process, simple process, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has given. Chaita Dharpana Marjanam, to cure the heart disease of lusty desires and greediness, he is chanting Hare Krishna Maham, Paranga Vijayati Sri Krishna Sankirtana. These are the Shastri injunction spoken by personalities like Lord Chaitanya and other Acharyas. So you have to follow. Mahajana Jena Gadasya Pantha. Don't follow rascals and fools, then it will be useless, waste of time. Follow the great Acharyas. Acharyaman Purusha Veda. One who is Acharyaman, who has accepted Acharya, he knows. Others all are fools, rascals. Acharya. Acharya Upasanam. In the Bhagavad Gita it is said. Amanitam madhammitam mahinsha khansi ajavam acharya upasana. You have to, first of all, worship the acharya. Tad vigyana khamsa guru meva vigache. Guru and acharya. So, these are the process. Mahajana jinaka. You cannot manufacture your ways of thinking. What you are? You are most insignificant living entity. And without following the acharyas, without following the Mahajan, without following the Shastra, how you can teach? But people are doing that. Without being followed by the acharya, without being followed by the Shastra, they become guru, they become shami, they become yogi. It is useless. You cannot get. Here are the process. Process is given. Tadarajasthama bhava. Kama. Tada means when you are fixed up in devotion and self. Then you can get out of this infection. These are infection. It is so dangerous infection. Infection anyone can understand nowadays, scientifically. If you infect some disease, you have to suffer. You cannot escape. You infect today, somehow or other. Not today, not tomorrow, but someday it will come out. It is called kutastha, palanamo, prarabdha, papabhij. Papabhij remains as seed, kutastha. Then it is fructifying, palanamo, then you sadha, prarabdha. This is called prarabdha karma, infection. You are under the complete Subjugation of nature. Prakriti kriyamanani gunai karmani sarvasa. This gunai. The prakriti is forcing him to work because he has infected a kind of guna. Karanam guna sangasa sadasad juni janus. Karana. Why one man is born, one living entity is born as very rich man, and one is born as a dog. Sat asat, joni, joni means mother, and bija means father, jatha jani, jatha bija. So every living entity is born, bija and joni, father and mother. So why there are varieties? Nature is working, why not one kind of? Living entity. No. Sadasad Janma Jivanishu. There are eight million four hundred thousand subspecies. One has to take Tathadi Ahantara Prati. You have to change. But why one is in the lower grade birth? Why is it higher grade? No. Karanam Guna Sangas. This Guna. Ah. This Guna. Sadaguna. Rajaguna. So you have to give up the association of Rajaguna and Tamagam. Then there is question of progress. Otherwise, it is simply black. Therefore, in our society, we say, don't associate, don't be infected by this Rajagun Tamo, this meat eating and, and illicit sex life and drinking and gambling. They are 
a Rajagun's come. Kama lo. You see, there is a big race ground. Gam. Come over. They are going there. Thousands and thousands of people are going there. For gam. This is come over. Why? Lobo. I must get more money. I must get more. Ro. Kam. Kama lo bhaga. So we have to get out of all this entanglement. Then there is spiritual life. Otherwise, don't talk of spiritual life. This is fact. Tada. Tada means when you are fixed up in devotional service. Tada. Kama lo bhava gayashta ji. Tada rajasuna bhava. We have to get rid of this rajagun and tamagun. We have to be fixed up in satagun, pure light. Then, sita satte prasidat. If you are situated in the satagun, then you will be peace of mind. That is Krishna Bhakti. That is explained in the Chaitanya Chaita. Bhukti Bhukti Siddhi Gami Sakali Asan. Krishna Bhakta Nishkam Atayev Shant. Krishna Bhakta, he does not desire it. Krishna Bhakta says, I don't mind. No, I am born low born. That is because he chant Hare Krishna. Low born or high born, he has nothing to do. Uh, if one is engaged in devotion and service, it doesn't matter whether he is low born or high born. As soon as he takes to devotion and service, he becomes above low born and high born. Sagunan samatitta itan brahma bhuyayata. He is in the brahma platform. So in this way, as they are stated in this hastra, if you follow, then step by step, first beginning is sinnatam sakata krishna. Try to hear Krishna's message. That is Bhagavad Gita as it is. You hear it, you understand it. What is the difficult? Sannatam Sadhakam. Don't misinterpret. Hear it as it is. Krishna says, Manmana Bhavamad Bhakta Madhyaji Maanamaskuru. Hear it and execute it. Where is the difficult? But uh, we shall not execute, we shall not hear. Uh, we shall not uh, act according to the instruction given. That is our misfortune. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu therefore says, you are so merciful huh, that in this age you have incarnated, you have descended in your name. Nam Namakari Bhuda Nijasadva Shakti. And in the name there is all potencies. Parasha Shakti Bhidayasya. There are multi-potencies of the Supreme Personality of God. All the potencies are there in the holy name of the Lord. Nam nam kari bahuda nijasadvasa tattrati niyamita smarane na kari. Desh kal patra. There is no distinction anywhere. Either in England or in Vindavan or in Calcutta you can chant Hare Niyamita smarana. No kala kala vicha. Yeah, this is asuddha ka, this is suddha ka. Uh, anytime. Kirtaniya sadhari. You have to chant only Hare Krishna. So, this opportunity is there. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Etadrishi tabukripa. My Lord, we are so kind. You have given us this chance. Duddha iva idrishi maha. Jani nara. But I am so unfortunate. I have no attraction for this chanting of uh, This is our position. So if you are serious about peace of mind, if you are serious about advancement in spiritual culture, spiritual life, then you must follow what is there in the Shastra and spoken by Krishna himself spoken by Lord Chaitanya himself, then life is successful. Thank you very much.